Hello, friends. Welcome back to Hot Topics in the News. I'm John. Uh, it's May 5th pretty soon. I'm joined by Garrett to talk about a special holiday on May 5th. It is... It's called Cinco de Mayo, which just means May 5th in Spanish. It's a popular holiday in both Mexico and the United States. That's right. In the U.S., there are many people of Mexican descent, and the celebration for Cinco de Mayo is big. So can you tell us a little bit about why Cinco de Mayo is a holiday? Sure. Well, it does come from history. We commemorate a Mexican army victory over the French at the Battle of Puebla on May 5th, 1862. Today, people celebrate this on this same day. But, well, many people don't actually know the history behind it. They just love to celebrate Mexican culture. That's right. In the United States, this is the day to celebrate Mexican culture, even if you're not from Mexico. It turns out that Cinco de Mayo is probably more widely celebrated in the United States than in Mexico, where Mostly the state of Puebla celebrates that battle that happened there. Yeah, in the U.S., though, it is celebrated all over the place. On May 5th, people gather together to celebrate Mexican culture. They eat Mexican food and, uh, well, often listen to Mexican music. That's right. You can hear fireworks in big cities on Cinco de Mayo. Now. Mexican food, like you said, is my favorite. We're both from Southern California. That's right. And what is your favorite Mexican food? Oh, uh, well, of course, tacos and burritos are delicious. Mm -hmm. They're very popular. My favorite is called chile relleno. It means restuffed chili. So a uh, chili is stuffed with cheese and then deep fried. It tastes great. That sounds incredible. There are so many good dishes and I miss authentic Mexican food from San Diego. Ooh. Some amazing burritos. But friends, we hope you get the chance to celebrate Cinco de Mayo wherever you are around the world. Don't forget, Cinco de Mayo means May 5th. Uh, be careful if you're shooting off any fireworks, though. <laughs> That's right. Well, friends, this has been Hot Topics on the News. We will see you next time. Goodbye.